You know what they say about J.D. Vance? That he's a hillbilly from Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, because that's not a stereotype at all. Oh, you're from Kentucky? Must be a rebel without a cause. <laughs> but seriously, folks, have you seen the way he talks about Kamala Harris? Cat lady with no kids? That's like saying I'm a nerd with no beard. <laughs> yeah, because that's exactly what I am. A 6'5", fan child with a mullet and a fondness for fantasy novels. <laughs> no wonder he is so unpopular. And don't even get me started on his couch comment. You know, the one where he said he fucked his couch? <laughs> oh boy, that's not just a euphemism for I'm lonely. Now that's a statement of intent, folks. Let's pay attention, shall we? This man said to himself, I'm gonna screw my furniture so hard, it'll never be the same again. <laughs> the cat watched and was like, who is this freak to judge me? <laughs> but you know what they say about J.D. Vance? He's got guts. And with all that's happened in such short order, you have to, wouldn't you? It's like, yeah, because saying something stupid on national TV is exactly what I call guts. It's like me saying, you know what? I'm gonna walk into a library and shout, I'm a genius, hear me roar! <laughs> and then when they ask you to leave, you say, but I'm a genius! <laughs> this is a kangaroo court, a witch hunt. I am ever the victim. Look, here's my victim card. Do you accept Christian nationalist cock with no integrity left? <laughs> As he pulls his wallet out, makes an ignorant comment about Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> the folks at Pepsi deserve better. And let's be real, folks. J.D. Vance. <laughs> Vance is just a symptom of a larger problem. We live in a society where people think it's okay to talk about politics on Twitter and also on their couches. <laughs> yeah, because that's exactly what I do every day. I'm gonna tweet about the election and then I'm gonna go screw my couch like a good Christian and complain about women that make me feel like an insecure little boy in Hillbilly instead of a big manly one, darn it. <laughs> but you know who really hates J.D. Vance? The people of Appalachia. Yeah, they're like, dude, you're not from here. You're just some rich kid. Cuck Lord from Ohio trying to pretend to be a hillbilly. And can you blame them? I mean, have you seen his accent? It's like he's trying to sound like a coal miner. But without the coal miner part, oh y'all, I'm a regular Appalachian boy. I love me some good old fashioned. <laughs> Whole food shopping and diet soda before banging my couch just like you folks. I put my pants on one entitled white guy leg at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, J.D. Vance is a hillbilly from Kentucky, or Ohio, or the Christian nationalist cult that used to be never Trumpers. But more importantly, he's a reminder of how far we've fallen as a society. We're so desperate for attention that we'll say anything, do anything even if it means getting our furniture sticky in the name of God. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, folks. You've been amazing. I've been hilarious. Have a great night. <laughs>